Just on the, on the rock on top. Yes, no, I just go from there, that's cool. cool. Hey everybody, I'm Dynamo the Magician and you're watching Full 52 TV. Hi there, Dave Forrest here for Full 52 TV. Welcome to episode 12. How about that? Dynamo on Full 52 TV. The one and only Dynamo. Um, big thanks to him uh, for taking the time to record that little segment for me. And, uh, you know, I wish him best of luck with the new show. I think the show is great. I watch it, as I'm sure many of you do. And I'm looking forward to a lot more of it in the future. Okay, so the winner to last week's competition to win Colour Burn, the DVD. And there are four downloads uh, to be won as well of Colour Burn. Um, and again, all you had to do was watch the video um, and leave a comment. And from all the people who did that, one of you lucky beggars was picked at random and their name is appearing on the screen now. So well done to you. Uh, you have won this. Now just send me a message through the YouTube system. Give me your postal address and uh, this will make its way to you uh, in the next couple of days or so. Uh, four lucky so-and-sos won the download version and their names are appearing on the screen now. So congratulations to all you four. Again, send me a message through the YouTube system giving me your email address and I will send you the download link uh, to download Colourburn. Thanks again uh, to everyone who participated in the competition. If you didn't win, don't worry because there is a new competition this week to win one of my favourite DVDs that I've ever released. Radio Rental. Uh, now what this is is 10 uh, mentalism effects, uh, sort of, you know, well that's basically what it is, it's 10 mentalism effects. And um, I actually think the material on this is very good. This DVD, if I'm honest, sort of went under the radar a little bit, I feel like it did. But there is a lot of good material on here. Now, there are two, uh, two links appearing on screen. One of them uh, will take you to the video demo of Pseudo Memory which is a feature of my, my lecture and you know it's a, it's a really great card trick, it's from a borrowed shuffle deck um, so do check that out, it's explained on here and the other link that's on screen right now is for frankly the effect that everyone talks about from this DVD called The Man Who Paints The Future now it's not a close up effect as you'll see when you, um, when you click the link but um, I think it's, I think it's a, a strong effect, it's one of the things that I've created that I'm most happy with um, so check both of them out. Again, you need to leave comments on both videos, okay, and like the video. And if you can see your way to favouriting the video, that would be great as well. Uh, this one is not available as a download. So what I'll do is I'll give two copies of the DVD away, alright? So two DVDs, two copies of Radio Rental to be won next week. Click the links, like, leave a comment, and favourite if you can. And one of you, uh, two of you rather, will win Radio Rental. Lots of luck. Okay, so what have I been up to in the past week? Well, I went to uh, Winchester to film uh, an effect for my mate Andy Gladwin. Uh, it's a great chair test uh, thing. I had a good time that night. It was a good lecture. And um, I also went to the Portsmouth Convention on Sunday. And I, when I was there, I met two friends of mine, Ben Williams and Chris Webb. Uh, and they were there and they had a stall and they had just released a brand new DVD uh, and it's called, what is it called? It's called Williams and Webb. <laughs> How could I forget that, right? <laughs> it's called Williams and Webb and uh, in fact here it is, the Williams and Webb DVD. So I wandered over to the stall in one of the quieter moments and there were plenty of quiet moments <laughs> in one of the quieter moments that I, I asked if you know, I could see some of the material. And both Chris and Ben then performed a couple of items from this DVD. And I immediately said, I want to stock this DVD because the material they showed me was offbeat, commercial, and really doable and usable and stuff you would actually do. More importantly, there are eight items on this disc. And of the eight, I would say half of them at least, half of them at least could have been marketed as separate items uh, in their own right. It's a great DVD um, and here uh, in their own words is a small clip featuring Williams and Webb. Check it out. Oh, 
Sorry. This, this is full 52 TV, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Oh, I always wanted to be on this. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, anyway, enough about that. Yeah, stuff like it's all that. about this. What is this I hear you say? This is Williams and Webb Volume 1. Volume 1. That means there's more to come. Yeah, baby. It's, uh, it's all about us and our amazing magic, basically. I don't think you can get finer magic than this. Eight effects. Eight effects. Four. But four by me, four by Ben. Four were really good. The others not so much. Yeah. Uh, we'll <laughs> But yeah, that's that's basically it. Close you should know, it's amazing. That's all you really we are need amazing. to know. We have to buy it. They got an ego, don't they? Oh yeah, because that's the ego is not included. Not included. The ego though. is not included. You got to supply that yourself, I'm afraid. So yeah. you know, whatever. So actually, uh, I'm more interested in the voodoo than those no, like, obviously. Um, I don't know if you know, but voodoo is making something happen and it affects something elsewhere. That's like a really basic layman's explanation of it. I'm no master myself, but I will show you a little application of voodoo. Um, we we'll use a... Uh, no, actually, I won't use my tribe because that would be ridiculous. Have you seen these? Uh, no. These are, I mean, this is a, a lottery, health lottery card, but it's, okay. it's not so much that, just anything, anything plastic, essentially. Okay. Uh, I've got a lighter as well, I think. Uh, uh, Chris, can you hold the lighter? Now, if you just hold the lighter, light it up. I can take the heat from here and transfer it to here. Okay. Just about there. That's good, that's good. You can feel it. You can start to feel it get really pliable. It's really weak. Yeah. If I drag it... You can actually get it to completely deform. And that is food. Hi, I'm Ben Williams. And I'm Chris Webb. <laughs> and you're watching Full 52 TV. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. He's it. Worth it. Okay, so that is the Williams and Webb DVD. That's a great trick that Ben does, the, the loyalty, uh, he calls it loyalty, where he sort of warps the plastic card. I just want to mention on this DVD there are lots of variations of that trick, one of which you sort of push your thumb in and the, the card sort of moulds into the shape of your thumb, it looks incredible. Another one, my personal favourite, you borrow a coin, heat it up and then you sort of fuse the coin, sort of melts into the plastic card and that can be handed, handed out. So it's just variations of that one effect. Um, there's a ton of great stuff on it. Go to the website, there's a link on screen. Have a read um, at all the effects that are on there. I recommend it. It's called Williams and Webb. Check it out. And just very quickly, I want to talk about this DVD here by Mark Elsden. It's just went up on the website today. This is, I don't say this lightly, this is one of my favourite DVDs I've ever, I've ever bought. The material on this DVD is so good, at least half the items have been marketed since as separate standalone items. Mark is a friend of mine, he's a very, very clever guy. The stuff on this DVD is knockout material, I don't say that lightly. I wish I had, t I only just put it up on the website today. In next episode, episode 13, I will perform a trick uh, from this DVD for the camera that I guarantee will have you scratching your head. You'll just, you won't believe your eyes. That's coming up in episode 13, but it is on the website right now, so you can go and check out uh, a couple of demo videos and stuff. That is Before I Forget by Mark Elsden, available now at full52.com. Okay, so sort of as a follow-on to last week's tutorial, uh, last week's tutorial was about the, uh, uh, the temp vanish, and then I taught a second vanish using the Erdnay's color change. And um, I said during that, we'll, we'll get to that another time. Well, that time is now. What I'm going to teach you now and show you in some detail is the Erdnay's color change. It's a move that you see done pretty poorly a lot of the time. And so I hope in this tutorial I can give you some pointers, some tips to make your Erdnay's color change look 10 times better. I'll uh, not only show you what to do, but more importantly what not to do. So uh, let's take a look at the Erdnay's colour change. Okay, so the Erdnay's colour change. Let's have a look at the change first of all. What is going to happen is that this 6, you're going to give it a little rub with your hand like this, 
and that 6 is going to change into a different card. That is the Ernie's colour change and um, I'll explain to you how it works. It's actually it's called, I, I believe it's technically called Ernie's first colour change uh, because there are other ones in the book, the expert at the card table of course, a book that every magician should own and, uh, and should definitely read. Uh, let's talk about how this works. Basically what happens is that this card gets swapped with this card and it's most basic all right how that happens is this one is pushed forward this one is dragged out pushed forward and then everything is squared up how do we do this well the fingers push this card forward so everything's held left hand dealer's grip push this one forward now the heel of the hand here contacts this card which is now coming to view underneath and drags it back see that and what will happen is you'll hear a click, or certainly you'll feel, I say you'll hear it, you'll actually feel like a when it's clear. Then you're going to push this card forward, and everything is squared up and the card is transformed. Again, this card goes forward, back of the hand takes this one, this is an exposed view, and everything gets squared up. Forward, contact the one beneath, everything's squared up, transformation. So... Here is something I see all the time with the Ernie's colour change and it, is, it looks so awful I can't even begin to tell you. This is what I see people doing a lot. Okay, that's no good. Now just, if you, if you just study what I'm doing you can, you can surely see what's wrong. The, the, the idea that simply pushing this card forward, that should never be noticed. The, the idea that the card is being pushed forward is not I mean, it's almost as if some people treat it as though that's the first part of the move. You know, you, you out-jog it and then change it. That's not good technique. Here's what you've got to do. What you've got to do is make sure that that card is covered before you move it forward. And look how far I move it forward. A centimetre. That's barely a centimetre right there. It's not like this, you know, like an inch and a half. It's a tiny, tiny bit, like a centimetre like that. And you also move it forward while it's completely covered. And now look at the tiny motion of my hand. Alright? Tiny motion. Just nudge it forward like that. You can still get access to that card easily. And the transformation all appears to happen in the same place as opposed to this. Where look where the card is. And now look where it is. It's way back here again. So that's, that's the first thing I'm going to say is make sure you completely cover the card and only nudge it forward for a centimetre. Here is the next thing. This is my second tip on this that I think will make it more deceptive for you. When you pull this card all the way back and you come forward, you want to completely cover again, but only only for only for a short moment, okay? So it's this. Okay. So what I'm saying is See that? See how just as I open my fingers you get the transformation? Watch. Alright, and then you come away. See that? That's what you're looking for. It's supposed to look like an instantaneous change. You cover, you show it's the same, bang, and it changes, right? Now let me tell you about this, uh, uh, a, a great tip. Instead of any sort of push forward of the card, instead of pushing it forward at all, what you can do is, is you come at it, I'll show you from this way, you come at it with a cupped hand and just in the action of flattening the hand out is enough to push that card forward. Do you see what I'm saying? What I'm saying is come over with a cupped hand and the action of just flattening the hand is enough to push the card forward and it's just a much better technique. Alright, there's the, there's the changes it should look. So instead of any sort of forward motion, you come forward, you come over with a cupped hand and then as that hand, see the fingers are contacting, as that hand flattens out, the card automatically pushes forward, right? Because these fingers are moving forward, but it's more natural because it looks like all you're doing is flattening your hand out. Okay? That is the Ernie's colour change. Um, I do hope that helps you. If you don't know the move, obviously you, you can learn it from this video. But more importantly, if you do it and you do that awful thing about p p pushing it forward. Hopefully this uh, video will encourage you to stop doing that. There you go, that was the Ernie's colour change. 
um, and a few hints and tips to help you along the way to making yours look more deceptive and ultimately more magical. Okay, so finally, um, I just want to mention, I know I said last week I would be able to give you some sort of a hint of this project I'm working on with Lee Smith. I didn't have time this week, I've just been too busy. So uh, next week, I dare say I'll have something that I'll be able to show you. In other news, I'm also currently working on a personal project, um, which I'm actually getting quite excited about. I'm developing material for it right now, and the material that's coming out, I have to say, is, is really quite exciting. It's a card project, and it features a sort of a gimmick. It's more like a gaff principle that I published many years ago in a very, very simple form. Over the years, I've toyed with this, uh, with this thing over and over again. Uh, and it keeps coming back and I've sort of built up a little notebook of material. I, I've been going through that again recently. And I'm actually developing some really quite strong card magic using this principle. We're talking about being able to make cards and possibly appear, completely vanish, transform from one into another. There's a moving hole effect on there. It's torn and restored. There's a Hofsenzer plot. It's just a very useful, shall we say, set of cardboard tools uh, that help you just achieve miracles and um, you know very clean vanishes and so on so more on that coming up and uh, hopefully in coming weeks I'll be able to give you some previews of that as well uh, that is all for this week I am Dave Forrest for Full 52 TV I'll see you next time